In this video, I will explain to you how to use your focus to achieve your goals and where do most successful people spend most of their time in, in terms of their time and their thinking and their attention. So I have friends that are doing self-development, that are trying to improve their lives. And what I've noticed uh, that is very consistent with them, especially those that don't move forward, that are maybe moving very slowly, is the principle of attention creates energy, like where, you, where attention goes, energy goes, is always there. So you see those people, they kind of move forward and then back, and then they move forward and then back. And, and it's, kind of like, it's kind of like this, it's kind of like improving and then falling, and then improving and then falling, and then improving and then falling. It's very slow. It almost looks like it's a crawling way. Whereas most of the time in my life and in people, people that I associate with, I see that success looks more like this. It looks more like an upward rise and then like this. Now, why do some people grow like this and some people grow like that? Well, my speculation is that it's about focus. Where do you put your attention on? So most successful people put their attention 80% on the future and 20% on the present, meaning they put almost all their attention on where they want to get. How will I use what I learned to move forward? What are my goals? Where am I trying to go? Almost always just moving forward, moving forward, just looking ahead as if you're driving and you're only paying attention to where you're trying to get. And 20% of their attention is on the now, is like, how do I solve this problem right now? Because sometimes things now are stopping you from moving forward. But notice again, it, most successful people spend most of their time on the future. Look at the unsuccessful people. Look at people that don't really get forward, don't move forward, or move forward very slowly. What happens is, let's take somebody who's in self-development. They have some win. They do something really, really well. Well, what happens now? They talk to their friend like, oh, look what I did. I did this, and this happened, and talk about the past, and they celebrate it. And it happens so often right now with people that I associate with, people that I talk to, again, that are in self-development but are not really moving in that way, where I kind of push them to take massive action. I push them to move faster. And what happens is they get a win. So they get like, poof, like a win. And then the moment they get a win, they go back to the past. They go like, oh, Robbie, I did this and I did that. And I always cut them off. I always tell them, stop the focusing on your past. Stop talking about what happened. You know, you want to talk about what happened? Let's talk about how you can take what happened and use it for the future. Use it to leverage yourself in the future. Notice how much time you spend talking about this happened and this happened. Even if it's good, even if what happened was a good thing, you're paying too much attention to it. Successful people don't spend any time on the past. They don't focus on it. They don't think about it, whether the past was good or the past was bad. They only use the past to get lessons to move forward. So only as a learning tool. And even then, only in very specific times that are dedicated to learning from the past. Most successful people spend their time learning in the present. So they take action, they see what happens, they adjust quickly, and they move forward. And it's always thinking, where do I want to get and what's in front of me? Exactly like when you're driving a car. Can you drive a car if you look 50% of the time in the rearview mirror? Of course not, you're gonna crash. So what do you do? You spend 100%, almost 100% of your time looking forward and 20% looking at stuff in front of you, like obstacles and stuff that you need to take care of right now that are not in front of the destination, but they're sort of in the way. And you almost spend no time looking in the back because why would you look in the back? It doesn't help you, it doesn't promote you in any way. So. Start catching yourself. Start looking at where am I focusing on the past? On this happened and he did this and he did that. And start diverting your attention to the future. Start focusing more on the promising future. I don't even care if you dread the future, but put, your, put your, most of your attention on the future and on the obstacles that are in your way to get there. Spend as little or no time at all on the past, on what happened. Again, whether it was good or bad. Do this, actually change your focus and make a big shift in terms of your attention and you'll start seeing massive changes in your life. You'll stop moving back all the time because you're focused on moving forward. Imagine if you're like, as if you're like a horse that, that is, has a horse blinds or blinders that if you know race horses, they have like these big things in front of their eyes that basically don't allow them to see on the sides. So what happens is they can only see forward, so they only move forward. If you lost your, imagine if you lost your ability to look back, if you lost your ability to think about the past, if the past just 
disappears and never exists again. And the only thing you can focus on is the future because the present moves so fast, you know, you can only get a glimpse of it and then, oh, it's gone. Because let's be in the present, okay? And this is the present, and now it's gone. Now there's no more present, now we're in the future. So put more, most of your attention on the future. Imagine again, you have blinders, you can only look forward. Do this for a month and you'll see miracles in your life. I hope this message greets you well. I hope you learned a lot from it. Let me know if you have any questions and feel free to subscribe and share and like this video and check out Evolution of a Maniac, the book which details my life story and the biggest epiphanies that I learned in the description for just $9.99. It's on sale right now. Go get it. So thank you again and see you in the next video.